Aloha friends, it's been a minute. So before we get to the word, if you can please like this video, subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. So we can share, 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 share the word of God because God is speaking. Are we listening? So the word that the Lord has really, really been having me wrestle with the last couple weeks is the word give. And according to Strong's, give is granting, it's allowing, bestowing, imparting, it's permitting, placing, offering, presenting, yielding, and paying. It implies giving an object of value. It gives freely and is not forced. And Acts 20 verse 35, which we'll read in a sec, indicates that the giver takes on the character of Christ whose nature is to give. God gave his one and only son to save us from sin, from ourselves. He's, he's the best giver. Jesus did not say it would be more natural or easier to give than to receive, but that it would be more blessed. And so Acts 20, 35 Paul's talking, he says, I have shown you in every way by laboring like this that you must support the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And it is, it's more blessed to give than to receive. Now, a lot of times when we hear the word give, especially in the context of Christianity, people automatically think about money, right? And yes, money is a resource. It's a tool that is necessary for furthering the body of Christ and keeping it running. That's the way the world works, unfortunately, but that's the way that it works. However, the Lord has really been showing me what we can give. And so I'm gonna read from Luke 6, verse 38. It says, sorry, 37 and 38. It says, stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Verse 38, give and you will receive a large quantity pressed down, pressed together, shaken down and running over will be put into your pocket. The standards you use for others will be applied to you. So it says, stop judging. What can you give people? Grace. You can give them grace. Lord knows we all need a lot more grace from each other. Stop condemning. Quit telling people, it's the whole log concept, right? Quit telling people you're doing this wrong when you have a plank in your own eye, right? Don't be looking at their speck. Fix yourself first, right? Check yourself before you wreck yourself. But those are things that we can give to people. And it doesn't cost us any money. It costs us a lot as far as putting our flesh to death, but it doesn't cost us any money. These are things we can give. Forgiveness, oh my goodness. Also give is in the word forgiveness. <laughs> Giving forgiveness, not an easy thing, but so necessary to walking with the Lord. The Lord actually said, if we don't forgive, he won't forgive us. So giving forgiveness should be a natural part of being a Christian and of being a follower of Jesus. Other things that the Lord has been talking to me about giving, time, time is a huge investment. You can't get time back. So giving time to God, oh, so important. So, so, so important. I was listening to a message recently that said you don't add God to your schedule. God is the schedule, <laughs> he's the agenda. So giving our time to God, making sure that we are giving him adequate time and giving others adequate time, right? That's how we build relationship. Moses had a stick and a speech impediment and God used him. He gave it to God. David had five stones. He gave to God. God used him. The disciples had five loaves of bread and two fish that they gave to Jesus and Jesus used them. So ask the Lord what you already have and what you can give to him and to the people around you so that we can all be blessed together. Praise God. Love you with the Jesus love.